Well, staying with us here on SA today, of course, we're giving you that rolling coverage as a uh, build-up to the president's speech tonight. Now, we've heard a number of people, of course, voicing out their expectation from the president's speech. Let us now focus a little bit to a different sector now, with that of uh, creatives. And we have in studio now Tony Horoche. Tony is the president of the Creative Industries uh, Federation of South Africa. And I say, as I said, he joins me now in studio. Good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for coming through. Good afternoon and thank you for having me. Now, you've heard what other people have to say, their expectations, of course, from the president's speech tonight. Yes. From the creative part of things, what would you like the president to talk about? Well, from our side, um, we would really like the president to look into the issues of unleashing the economic potential of the creative industries. Uh, because I think, you know, within the industry, we have, we've missed a lot. We've missed, I think, the BE, we've missed it. The triple BE, we've missed it. And our focus now as an industry is looking into the, the IP, which is e intellectual property, and also into the, the, the black industrialism. Mm. And really, let's just go back a little, Tony, to, to the concerns and perhaps the challenges that uh, the artists face in this creative industry. What are those? And do you feel that some of those are being you know, answered to? Are they being responded to sufficiently so by the government? You know, um, I think the problem is both sides, both with the industry and with government in a way. But if you look into the policies that the government have, you realize that those policies are good on paper. But when it comes to the practicality of them, they are actually not happening. And that is why in most cases you will hear that artists are dying poor, you will hear that there are no spaces for artists to express their art, and so on and so forth. So there needs to be a certain synergy between the government and the industry, and more than anything, within the government department it's, uh, 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 itself. For instance, Department of Arts and Culture, Department of Communications, and the Department of DTI, they need to come together because all these three departments, they deal with the creative sector, but yet they operate in, in, in silos. In, in silos yeah. you know. So I think by bringing them together in their minds, and I'll give you a simple example now. Um, Minister Stella Ndabeni, uh, was, 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 was dealing th with the issues of uh, the fourth in in industrialism. And then two days ago, we have Ms. Minister Natim Teto also dealing with the fourth industrialism issues within the film industry. But now they're dealing with, with these issues separately. But if they can come together, that will bring a certain sense of unity and understanding of the creative industry. And that will help also to unleash the economic potential of the industry. Yeah. Now, we've had a number of guests, of course, on the red carpet now in Cape Town, basically saying that uh, they've been dressed by um, local designers. So yes. do you think that, in a way, are we on the right track? Well, I think we are, but it shouldn't only happen when big events are happening where you know that you're going to get media coverage and stuff like that. It's something that we need to practice on a daily basis. And um, supporting local, local talent and making sure that, you know, um, uh, we, we, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at those suits that those guys are wearing and stuff like that. You'd swear one of them owns a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton store. And yet it's not like that. But we want that kind of mentality of them that they are putting and the interest that they are putting in those clothes to become into the local uh, uh, designers must also get the, I mean, the same kind of like attention when it comes to, to that. But how, how are you fighting for them as the organization? Is it not where you come in to say, to speak to government and be their voice, uh, really? That is what we are doing. But um, we are having difficulties and challenges when it comes to organizing um, due to uh, scarcity of resources because putting people together and trying to get people in one spot in trying to have an organization or a structure that can speak to them and speak to their interest it, it, it takes a lot and more especially if you have to do it throughout all nine provinces it takes a lot so we are going there we are doing it in bits and pieces and local provincial departments are helping us here and there but I think we are going towards the right direction. Mm. So if you were to speak directly to President Cyril Ramaphosa now and sort of you give your tips just before he speaks in Parliament, what would you say from the creative industry? I would say he needs to look into advancing the idea of black industrialism and also in unleashing 
the economic potential of the creative industry. Because what we're having, we're having little snippets in between of how great the creative sector is. Of the people that we're, I mean, you can see internationally, you can see the Nomzamos here, and, and some here and there. But there's a lot behind that. There's a lot that we can, we, we can export. And in us exporting that, in return, it will come in return of um, uh, economic potential. Mm. And job cre jobs and creation, job creation well, more than anything else. Yes. All right, Tony, time constraints. I'm afraid we have to leave it at that, but thank you so much for coming through. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, well, there you have thank it. You. Tony Horoche is uh, the president of the Creative Industries of Federation of South Africa, talking about his expectations, of course, from the State of the Nation address, saying that the president has to look directly into this matter as that can assist in terms of creating more jobs.